told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away. What's up, gang? I'm the Covert Pro. You can call me Ross. It's been two weeks on the wrist with the Omega Swatch collaboration. And mine, the Mission on Earth design. Beautiful. Two-thirds ceramic, one-third plastic. May seem cheap to some, but I think it speaks to the affordable engineering here. Uh, they hit this one out of the park, a masterpiece of marketing for these two companies, creating such a buzz and bringing even more fans to the watch community. No lineups in the store, to the display, pay for it, walk away, out the door, no problem. That's the way it should have been from day one. Omega, Swatch, Moon Swatch, Mission on Earth. Here we go. Oh, and I forgot one important thing. Did I tell you? I didn't even buy this thing. My girlfriend bought it for me. How special is that? She's dynamite. She is such a supporter. I love her. You're such a nerd. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the no, man, I still go Moonswatch. Say that three times fast. Moonswatch, Moonswatch, Moon Swatch. Oh no. Did I just wreck that? <laughs> Specs are here for you. At one to one ratio of the original Omega Speedmaster Professional, I chose Earth because of the blue-green colorway. I actually like that very very slick and frankly between you and I it was the only option as there was only two models in the store at the time and earth and sun uh yellow's not my cup of tea now it really does have uh case designs that are that of the original with its asymmetric uh, crown guard design with the blue tachometer bezel we're looking at sloped lugs it finishes off with a sealed case back and the earth battery cover nice touch uh, domed acrylic crystal, which is plastic, which can scratch easily, so be mindful of this. I've learned that PolyWatch does actually work for it, so order up, Amazon Prime. Now here we go with this swatch dial. This blue dial with the accent white subdial registers, signed Omega swatch at the 12, Speedmaster at the 9, and Moon swatch at the 3. We have loomed hour minute baton style hands, red large loom tip chronograph hand, white loomed hour markers, Great contrasting colors for ultimate visibility here. One thing you don't see is a lot of loom shots. Let's check out some loom shots for the Omega Swatch, Moon Swatch, Mission on Earth. Hit. No date complication, just like the original. Swiss made, signed at the six, with the Swatch patent signed as well. Now here's where we have a little slight difference in variation between the original Moon Watch and this super fun Moon Swatch design. They both have that recessed pie plate subdial or registers, however they are in different positions for each different design. Now the top two recessed pie plate subdials or registers are in positions 10 and 2, like when you're driving a car or taking your driver's test. Not the traditional 3 and 9 position like the original. Subdials for the chrono are also different in operation. The fun swatch has small seconds hand at the six o'clock position with the chronograph one tenth of a second register at the two o'clock position and a 60 minute monitoring capability at the 10. Friendly reminder, the Omega Speedmaster Professional has the 30 minute register at the three o'clock position, the 12 hour monitor register at the six and the small seconds hand is at the nine o'clock position. No sacrifice for attention to detail here. Omega and Swatch execute this fun yet serious design perfectly while offering some new design features to each individual model. Now the Swatch Mission on Earth, just like the other models, are powered by the quartz movement. Contributing factor for the overall cost, no doubt. A battery powered watch with that Earth case back cover, nice touch here. My concern and I know it's a rhetorical question, but why not an automatic movement, keeping with Omega's hand-wound mechanical and automatic variations of the original designs? Get me the yellow pages. I'm calling Swatch Omega right now. We need to reassess the design. 
Now, of course, it would cost a little bit more to put that automatic movement into this watch. And of course, your price is going to increase. Like I mentioned, $260 US plus taxes, 281 out the door from Las Vegas, Nevada. Now the strap here, we have a blue modified NATO Velcro strap. Will fit longer for smaller wrist sizes, just be warned. I've seen that it's pretty okay for mine and I'm just under seven and a quarter inches, but sometimes if it's smaller than that, you may have some hangover. So hmm, there could be other options for you. Easy peasy and no problems with the traditional spring bars that it comes with. So yeah, there's some versatility there. Don't worry, you can make it your own. Now overall, the hype is real. These watches are great, but I wouldn't spend over the retail based on the build quality. If the rollout had been done better from a supply standpoint, there wouldn't have been issues like this where we have problems getting it in different areas of this globe. The fact that I had to buy this in Las Vegas, Nevada, huh, as opposed to my own backyard here in Canada, that's a little bit worrisome. I'm sorry, but who has time for that? It's a great design with several design features of the original, but it's no Omega Speedmaster Professional. And if you're going to get yours, don't overpay for it. Just wait and be patient. I hope you've had fun with this video. I enjoyed making it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know which one of the mission watches you've picked up. Also, how do you feel about the movement issues? Do you think it should be an automatic movement like me to represent the mechanical or automatic style watch that the Omega Speedmaster Professional represents? Comment down below. I want to hear what you got to say. I'm the Covert Pro. You can call me Ross. It's all good. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You don't want to miss the next video. And what do I always say? You know there's going to be another video. I'm on Instagram as well. Right there. No problem. For a wow moment, today we have on the Casio A168. Digital day, all day. That's my time. We'll see you on the next one.